If you aren't using all the channels of your RME interface, the Total Mix window can be customized to hide any unused channels. Click on the Options menu and select Channel Layout. There are three panels here, one for inputs, the top row of the mixer, playback channels, the middle row of the mixer, and output channels, the bottom row. If you want to hide a channel from view, just click the channel, then select the Hide in Mixer Matrix checkbox. You can select multiple channels at one time the usual way, using Shift plus click for items in a series, or Control plus click, Command on Mac, to add single channels to the selection. If needed, you can also hide the channels only from MIDI controller or OSC remotes. Once you're done, click OK and the selected channels are removed from the mixer. Over on the right side panel, you can save your layout as a preset, so it can be recalled at any time. In addition to the preset slots, there's two buttons above. All will show all channels, and Sub will show only the channels routed to the currently selected submix. In certain cases, your screen resolution may be larger or smaller than optimal for Total Mix. You can set the mixer to two-row mode using the button on the right side, which moves the software playback row to the top. You can also collapse channels to meters only by clicking on the small arrow on the bottom right. Here you can also hold Control or Command when you click, and this will collapse all channels to the right. If you're using a high resolution display, it may be beneficial to increase the size of the mixer. You can find the zoom options under the Window menu.